when we start talking about making changes, right? When we talk about making changes, why changes are necessary, why we want to do them, and where they have their play in each and every one of our lives, I want you to think, and I want you to know, if you were put in a situation and you had to make the best decision for you, which route are you going to go, right? If either it's you making the best decision for yourself to put you in the best light, put you in the best position to be successful, or you had the opportunity to put somebody else there. Who are you going to vote? Man, we're going to dive in on this episode of Beyond the Ball, and I wanted to talk a little bit about changes. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and here we like to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. And over the past couple of years, past like three, four years, actually, we've been doing this show. One thing that I've hit on is focusing on stories, strategies and successes to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree right? Stories, strategies, and successes. And the reason I like focusing on those has always been with the power and impact of a story, right? Uh, I learned when I did my first TEDx talk, and I talked about the power of um, commitment. That was when I really just understood why we're driven and why we're wired certain ways. But when I did my second TEDx talk, right, when I did the second one, and I talked about the pain of an untold story, right, the pain of an untold story, that was when I realized that people are 20 times more likely to tap in and to listen when facts are interwoven or interweaved, right, within a story, okay? So understanding that, understanding that, I, I, I wanted to... I wanted to make a shift with the show. And like I said, we've been focusing on stories, of course, focusing on strategies because strategies are essential for each and every one of our lives. We need to apply strategies, especially tried and true strategies to make sure that we can be successful in different facets of our lives. Like if we talk about strategies for money management, right? There is a wealth strategy for money management. Dave Ramsey has the seven baby steps, um, then there's other people with the 50, 30, 20 strategy, right? There's so many different strategies that we need to apply. And shout out to Kiara McClendon because she came on the show and she talked about the 50, 30, 10 strategy or 50, 30, 20 strategy, which is pretty super dope, super dope. Um, but the last thing I want to say, I said story strategies and successes and just celebrating people's successes. I think it's been dope. Right. Being able to bring people on and interview them, spotlight them, if they be uh, student athletes, if they be former athletes, if they be current athletes or if they're even corporate athletes. Right. And this is the individual who is going after with the nine to five, just getting busy. But they still compete at a high level in the corporate room or the boardroom or, you know, wherever they may be placed. But I decided to make a pivot. And if you've been following me. Uh, or if you've been following our content with Beyond the Ball Media, we started out with two shows. One of the shows was this one here, right, Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones. And another one of the shows was your podcast mentor show with Jonathan Jones. And this past week, we put your podcast mentor show to rest, right? I believe that there's a reason and a season for everything. The Bible talks about that. And I, I feel it was just time to um, focus and drill down more right here because my heart really lies with these student athletes. My heart lies with you, student athlete, who, you know, may be uh, the person who is on the team, but you're fighting to still cultivate your identity because you're not finding it in your sport. Right. And you might be doing great with your grades, but you're like, man, I'm not I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it right now. Um, you know, I, my, my heart co uh, sticks with the student athlete who is competing at a high level on the field, in the pool, on the green. Right. Wherever you might be. 
And I want you to also know I'm rocking with you. I'm supporting you wholeheartedly, fully. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let me make sure that come through. Let me make sure that come through, man. Drop a clue bomb because we got an announcement to make. Sorry for my audio listeners if that came on too strong. I apologize. I apologize. I was just excited about this little announcement. Announcement. Um, but what we're gonna what we're gonna do what we're gonna do now going forward is yes we focused on stories, strategies, and successes to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Right. Right. We agree on that. Yep. Yep. Um, but now we're gonna make a shift and we're gonna extend from focusing on those three, and I've shifted up our our story, not our story, but I've shifted up our podcast focus as a whole. Because as I've been growing in my faith, and I talked about it on uh, a few episodes ago, I actually shared my testimony on a few episodes ago of the of Beyond the Ball. And I'm going to put I'm going to tell you what episode it was in just one second. But as I've been growing, not only in my faith, but also as a man, right? Have I've been growing um, just in this life after sports, right? And that episode was episode 138, just FYI. I shared a little bit of my testimony. And as I've been growing and developing and evolving and moving and shifting and shaping, I've realized that story strategies and successes are cute. You hear me? Like they're cute. But y'all, I want to go deeper. Is that okay? Can I go deeper on the show? Is that okay? It's my, it's my, it's not even my show. It's y'all's show. You know what I'm saying? It's y'all's show. The listeners that rock every episode, the people who listen and you know don't send a message or nothing because I don't know who's listening exactly. But if you're listening, you know what I'm saying. Comment down below if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening. Send me a message on Instagram at Beyond the Ball Media. You know what I'm saying. Send a message so we just know who rocking and so we can shout you out on the show. But y'all, uh, what what I want to do with the show now is is I want to open it up from it being three pillars to it being five pillars, and the five pillars are going to be as follows. So one, uh, we're going to focus on helping you cultivate as a young leader mentally, right? So that includes like mental health type stuff. That includes mental fortitude, right? So just strengthening your mind, mental toughness, right? So focusing on that emotionally, right? I want to check in with you. I want to see where you are on an emotional level. I, I want to see where you stand on an emotion, in an emotional place. You know what I'm saying? Because I've told this story many times before, but when I was a kid, I had this exchange with my father to where it left me with a, a grudge against him for some time. And fam, that affected me deeply. And I don't want anybody else to go through that if they don't have to, if they understand and learn some tools and learn some strategies and learn some ways to count from 10 backwards to where they can calm themselves down to where now they can move on and they don't have to hold a grudge. Okay, so mentally, emotionally, relationally, y'all, we need to talk about relationships because some people have no idea about your boy used to live a double life back in the day. I'm grateful that God saved me. He sanctified me and he delivered me, right? But, if you're out there and you're single in college, but you're still just trying to figure, hey, we go, we'll, ooh, we'll, 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 we'll get into it, right? We'll bring some people on talking a little bit about some relationship type stuff. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to make sure that, that you're whole, to make sure that you're healed. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that you can be where you want to be and who God's called you to be based on those spiritually. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to talk a little bit more about the spiritual tip. We might have some episodes where I might do a Bible study. We're going to see. We're going to see, okay? 
we're we're going to see, y'all, because I'm at a place in my life where I'm realizing that, yes, I'm a child of God, but I'm getting more open about my faith and open about sharing what I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Spirit. All three in one. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly, we're going to talk career trajectory. Career trajectory. So talking about what that looks like for you, identifying different ways how you can go about and navigate that, bringing on different people who have tools for that, bringing on people who have different philosophies for that, bringing on people who just bring a different perspective. Okay, so I wanted to bring you all in to my mind to let you know that we're expanding the show to hit on those five pillars. Not just three, like before, but those five. Because I really believe in helping you succeed beyond your degree. And as I was driving in the car, and I'll give the Holy Spirit credit for this, shout out to Big Jesus, Because as I was driving in the car, I got these ideas. I was like, boom, driving down. I'm like, man, thinking about, man, mentally, emotionally, relationally, spiritually, career trajectory. These are all things that once a student athlete becomes aware of, a student athlete, a.k.a. a young leader, young man, young woman, once you all become aware of these things, and began to like track them and begin to like measure your progress and see where you are this year versus seeing where you are like next year. Like this is going to be something that's going to start to shift the way that you operate, right? How you do things. Are you showing up on time? Like all that. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and close this episode out. But family, I just want to update you all, let you all know what's coming down the pipeline, what we got going. Um, But in other news, I appreciate you. If you came over from the Your Podcast Mentor Show, I appreciate you. If you've been rocking with Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones, I appreciate you. Because my heart has always been to help the student athletes. I would love to just go around the country and just do presentations and give the game to student athletes. But I have a family with a wife and a son, so we can't just do it like that, okay? But I can give you this game for free on the podcast. So if you're listeners of the podcast, you are going to get exclusive access to stuff that other people don't get. Uh, Presentations that I've shared, you all going to get access to that by way of the podcast that other people won't get. Uh, But I just wanted to let you know that we're going to start adding more value to cultivate further transformation. But family, this is Jonathan Jones. And if there's a topic I can cover for you, right? If there's a topic I can cover for you, or if your school even wants to learn more about podcasting, hit me up. Send me a message in the DM at Jonathan Jones Speaks, okay? At Jonathan Jones Speaks. And if you spell Jonathan wrong, then I'm not going to pop up. But you can type in Beyond the Ball Media. You can send it there. But family, without further ado, we're getting out of here. This is Jonathan Jones, and this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Peace. God bless.